Hey there, DIY coders. Welcome to HTML Quickie, where we try to teach you HTML one small video at a time. Before we get started, there will be a link down in the description below for you to check out. If you have no clue what the heck HTML is, or if you have a rough idea, I do recommend you check that video out. But if you're all good, we'll get started with this video. Before we can get started learning, let's get you prepared with a text editor, a browser, and have both applications open to the file we'll be working on. And let's not forget, I'll have you copy this code that I have highlighted here into your text editor. And if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do so. If you're all good though, we'll go ahead and learn the tag called the span tag. So I'll go ahead and type it here. Span. There we go. Save and nothing happens. All right, so we'll type something. Uh, this is some text. We'll save. And you will notice that the browser is showing some text here, the same exact one we have in this uh, text editor here. So let's bring out the P tag here. I'll just type it in here. All right, and we'll just copy this text here. And we will compare the two lines of text and see if there's anything different. And you'll notice there's absolutely nothing different. So you might be wondering, what's the difference between the text in the span tag in comparison to the default text. So in terms of the text, there is no difference. But in terms of its use, it has a specific need within HTML according to the HTML standard. So let me just grab a bit of text that I made previously right here. Copy and paste this here. All right, we'll save. And it will show the text that I've made onto the browser. And let me just readjust this. And let me also apply this other piece of code that I have down here. And I'll put it into the head tag here. There we go. Uh, maybe shift it back, save. All right. Oh, something went wrong here. This is not the right letter. There we go. Okay. Let me just zoom out. There we go. So here we have some CSS code. If you have no clue what CSS code is, to give you just a very basic idea, CSS code is a way to, to manipulate the look of what you have in the browser. So with the help of CSS code, we can demonstrate the span tag's purpose within the HTML world. So uh, let me show you one, for example, span. Span, there we go. All right, and then we will use a attribute called class. All right, and then we'll put in a value of red. All right, and now we'll save. And then you'll notice this line of text has turned red. So now that we have a visual overview of what the span tag does, let me give you a description of what the span tag is supposed to be used for. So the span tag is supposed to be used for taking some bit of text and then giving it a different look. In this case, we have changed the, this line of text into red. And we can do this with various bits of text. So let's say if I did this with just this one word here, span, and I write the closing tag, tag of span, there we go. Then I add the attribute with the value of three. All right, and we'll save. And the browser refreshes. Then you'll notice that the word green has turned into the color green. And we can use as many span tags as we like to manipulate the text we have here. So let me demonstrate one more for you. So we'll have a class of blue, just like so. And then we save. And you notice the word text and the period has changed to the color blue. Again, to be clear, in order to use the span tag appropriately, you must have a basic understanding of how to write the CSS code. Now, if you want to understand how to manipulate the contents of your web browser, or in this case, a web page, I will have a link down in the description below for you to get started learning CSS. And that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, 
make that like button blue. If you found this video unhelpful, make that dislike button red. And if you have any colorful comments, I would like to hear it down in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you think I've earned it. And if you think I did earn it, hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on all the new videos that I upload to YouTube. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.